Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon D5100 and Nikon D3300. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon D5100 and the Nikon D3300 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 26th of April 2011 and the 21st of April 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D5100. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D3300. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon D5100 and the Nikon D3300. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon D5100. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon D3300. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D5100. I have been using the Nikon D5100 for over six months now, and I am absolutely impressed with its performance. The camera takes amazing pictures with fast focusing and excellent color reproduction. The HD video quality is also top notch, and the external microphone provides great sound. The camera is durable, as I have dropped it a few times without any issues. I have also started shooting in RAW and using Lightroom, which has significantly improved the sharpness of my images. Overall, this camera has been a great investment, and I plan on using it for a long time. The Nikon D5100 is a well-built camera camera with a swivel screen and HDR feature. However, the HDR feature is not as impressive as advertised, and the swivel screen feels flimsy. The camera is lighter and cheaper than the D7000, but it feels cheap and has limited buttons for manual adjustments. The video quality is mediocre, and the built-in microphone is weak. Overall, I found the D5100 to be a good choice for family and vacation photography, but not suitable for more advanced photography needs. I would recommend investing in the D7000 for better features and performance. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D3300. I recently bought the Nikon D3300, and I am very happy with my decision. The camera is well-built, lightweight, and easy to use. The kit lens is good and the battery life is impressive. The image and video quality are excellent, and even in low light conditions, the camera performs well. The only drawbacks are the limited resolutions and aspect ratio. I recently got back into photography and purchased the Nikon D3300 DSLR camera. It's a great entry-level camera with a lot of capabilities, and I'm still learning all that it can do. I opted for the kit with the 18 to 55 mm lens and also bought the 18 to 200 mm lens, which has become my go-to lens for everyday use. I debated between the D3300 and the D5300, but the price difference for the extra features didn't seem worth it to me. Overall, I'm happy with my purchase, but wish I had the articulated monitor screen and built-in Wi-Fi transmitter. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon D5100. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Nikon D3300. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10.